Palm stand for Project Object Model is an XML representation of a Maven project held in a file named palm.xml. The palm contains all necessary information about the project, as well as configuration of plugins to be used during the build process. It is effectively the declarative manifestation of the who, what, and where, while the build life cycle with the when and how. Group ID, this is generally unique among an organization or a project. When stored within the repository, the group acts much like a Java packaging structure does in an operating system. The dots are replaced by the OS specific directory separators, such as slash and unit, which become the relative directory structure from the Bay repository. Artifact ID the artifact ID is generally the name that project is known by. Along with the group ID, create a key that separates this project from every other project in the world. Along with the group ID, the artifact ID fully defines the artifacts living quarters within the repository. Version This is a lot piece of the naming puzzle. It is due within an artifact repository to separate versions from each other. The three elements given above point to a specific version of the project, letting Maven know who we are dealing with and when in this software lifecycle we want them. The cornerstone of the palm is the dependencies list. Maven downloads and links dependencies for you on compilation. Clean and build the project to proceed, download and add the dependencies to the project build path. Web application deployment descriptor describes how the web application should be deployed. The header refers to the location and version of document time descriptor. All of the entries are wrapped within web app tags. Spring Web MVC framework is like many other MVC frameworks, request driven, designed around a central sublet that departs request to controller and offer other functionality to facilitate the development of the web applications. Spring departs sublet, however, does more than just that. It is completely integrated with the Spring IOC container to allow you to use every other feature of Spring. The Dispartial Sublet is actually a sublet which inherits from the HTTP sublet class. If a request comes to the server and matches the sublet mapping UIO pattern, the container will send the request to the Dispartial Sublet to handle. This standard Java e sublet configuration. In the example, all requests ending with .do will be handled by the Dispartial Sublet. Unit derived JSP for view rendering. Spring provides a couple out the box solution for JSP and JSTL views. In this video, we just use a very simple JSP for demonstration. In the next video, we'll talk more about JST on View Resolver. The notion of the controller is a part of the MVC design pattern. More specifically, it is a C in MVC. Controller provides access to the application behavior which is typically defined by a service interface. Controller interprets user input and transform input into sensible model, which will be represented to user by the view. Spring has implemented the notion of controller in a very abstract way, enabling a wide variety of different kinds of controller to be created. As you can see, the controller interface defines a single method that is responsible for handling requests and returning appropriate model and view. 
The three concepts are the basis for Spring MVC implementation, model in view, and controller. The framework will look for a file leading with sublet name minus sublet.xml on initialization of this part to sublet to instantiate the bins defined there, overriding the definition of any bins defined with the same name in the global scope. By default, the file is located in the webinf directory of your web application. In this example, you will need to have a file called disparture-sublet.xml in web in folder. The location of this configuration file can be changed via sublet initialization parameters in web.xml file. The web application context is an extension of the plain application context that has some extra feature necessary for web applications. Apache Tomcat is an open source software implementation of Java Sublet, Java Server Pages, Java Expression Language, and Java WebSocket technologies. Different versions of Apache Tomcat are available for different versions of Sublet and JSP specifications. You can download installer or JIP package to install or unpack. When developing Java applications, you can specify the server runtime environment for the projects. The target server is specified during project creation and import, and it can be changed in the project properties. The target server setting is the default mechanism for setting the cloud path for the projects. If you decide later that you want to change your runtime configuration, you can go to Window Preferences, type Runtime in the filter box, and in the list show Install Runtime Configuration Setting under the Server Category. Select Apache Tomcat Runtime, click Edit to change the name, location of the directory, and JRE version. Right-click to the server, select Add and Remove, then move the project to the right to deploy to the server, then click Finish. Start the server and ready to run. Open web browser and time the UIO then go. That's the very basic flow of Spring MVC 2.5. In the next video, we'll show you Spring MVC version 4 and walk through the process of using Spring to handle form submission, connect MySQL using Spring JDBC and connection pool. Stay tuned.